Hello Selfie Baris uh, Andito po tayo ngayon sa Kwan Sa plantation ng kape Dito pa rin sa Binggit Province Actually uh, Binggit Province is known only for uh, Known siya for vegetables uh, production Pero actually meron din siyang mga kape At um, merong variety na Binggit Arabica Coffee So yan po yung isa sa pinaka the best na kape ng buong Pilipinas okay, So tara kasama niyo akong mag road bike Try nating uh, tikman ang kape ng Binggit Let's go! Binggit Coffee, also known as Binggit Arabica, is a single origin coffee varietal grown in the Cordillera Highlands of the Northern Philippines since the 19th century. It belongs to the species Coffee Arabica of the Tepica variety. It is one of the products in the province of Binggit, which has a climate highly suitable for Arabica cultivation. Binggit Coffee is listed in the Arab of Taste, International Catalog of Endangered Heritage Foods, by the slow food movement. As the origin of the coffee for the Wikipedia version, Arabica coffee is believed to have been introduced in the Cordillera Highlands in the mid 19th century. According to William Pack, an American governor of Binget in 1909 and 1912, during the American colonial period, Arabica coffee was first introduced to Cordilleras in 1875 by Spanish governor of Pinguet, Manuel Serra. He initially planted them in the government gardens in the lowlands to evaluate the potential as a uh, regional crop. However, frequent rains in the low altitude were not ideal conditions for the plant. The next governor, Enrique Aura, had greater success when he transplanted them at higher altitudes in 1877 and distributed seedlings among the native Igorot people. In 1881, however, the then governor, a certain Villena, attempted to coerce the natives into growing coffee by ordering them to do so. In protest, native communities destroyed Arabica plantations at the advice of the village experts. However, a native chief named Kamising from Kabayan uh, purportedly saw the benefits of the crop and introduced Arabica coffee to his own people. His successes convinced neighboring communities to take up coffee cultivation on their own. Benkin coffee was part of the booming industry in the Philippines during the 1880s and 1890s. It reached annual coffee export up to 16 million pounds. However, coffee rust devastated the plantations in 1899 and coffee production dropped. By 1917, annual total export of coffee from the Philippines only amounted to 3,000 pounds. Governor Park praised uh, Bingit Coffee even then for its flavor and spearheaded a plan to rehabilitate the industry while he was a governor. Binget Bing coffee cultivation is centered in the province of Binget, mostly in backyard or small gardens. The coffee they produced were both uh, for local consumption and, and sold as luxury exports, uh, luxury exports to Spain for defeats in high prices. The coffee industry flourished in the mid uh, 20th century as demand increased, but it uh, faltered in the 1990s due to rapid inflation and government neglect. In recent years, provincial governments are attempting to bring back coffee production for both local interna and international markets. Production has steadily increased since 2010. In 2016, the Department of Trade and Industry in the Cordillera uh, lands is shared service facility and laboratory for processing in, cap in capping Arabica in the uh, Benguet State University. Uh, it is the first in the country. Benguet is regarded as the top producer, producer of quality Arabica in the Philippines and it is in high demand. The Philippine Coffee Roadmap, which is the blue blueprint of the country's coffee industry 
claims to put the Philippines' coffee sufficiency at uh, 161% by the year 2022. To be able to reach this goal, produ production volume has to increase and uh, production has area has to expand. Uh, for another vision of the history being written by uh, Ma'am Maurice Malanis and Ma'am Midori Nakamura together with Professor uh, Jan Takloy. In their version, uh, the coffee was believed to have been introduced in the Philippines by the Spaniards. A Franciscan friar brought to the Philippines three cantas of coffee beans via a Mexico-Manila galleon voyage in the 1740s and planted them somewhere in Manila. Upon his death, his servant boy dug up the coffee plants and planted them in his father's land in Pinagtongolan, Lipa, Batangas. While coffee trees were reported to be growing in the southern Tagalog region as early as 1818, those are believed to have been brought from Arabia and Indonesia by Arab merchants when they were trading in the in the surrounding area area of Batangas and Laguna. Eventually, coffee found its way to other places in the Philippines. The river, river uh, birthplace of the coffee industry in the Philippines is Lipa City in Batangas. It, the city is believed to be the first place where a Franciscan friar planted coffee seed he brought from Mexico, Mexico in 1749. It was the place where coffee cultivation planting was enforced by Capitan Don Galio de los Reyes that resulted in the eventual establishment of coffee plantation within two-thirds of the town's area. Then a world coffee shortage followed, giving the most coffee profits to the Lipanos and making them the richest in the Philippines. The glorious days of coffee growers and traders in the in the place in that when an epidemic of insects known as bagumbong almost wiped out coffee in Lipa. For the introduction of coffee in the Cordilleras, according to the research of Cipriano Bangayan Sr. of the Benguet Organic Coffee Arabica Enterprise Limited Incorporation, Dominican friars introduced Arabica coffee in Benguet parallel to the uh, search for gold in other minerals that were in abundance in the mountain regions. They established foot trails to search for gold in Lipantamangayan through the three roads, the Pangasinan going north along the Agno River, now the San Rogidam, passing through the municipalities of Itogon, Bukut, Kabayan, and Bukyas. And the second one is from Nagilian La Union going up to Sablan, Natrinidad to Blay Atok in Mangayan. In, from San, in the last road is from San Fernando La Union to Sudipan Cervantes and Lepanto. In the course of the construction of foot trails, the Spaniards established three dias or three days, forced labor by every man and woman to open the, foot, the said foot trails. As, as a result of this, many communities were able to establish gardens of Arabic, Arabica coffee trees in their backyard as well as engaged in pack mining as a source of uh, livelihood. This uh, continued up to north, up to Bontok and beyond. Coffee Arabica arrived in Asagada after other kinds of uh, coffee had been introduced in the lowland areas. These are the three versions of the story of how coffee Arabica was introduced in Sagada. Well, so that is the simple history of coffee production in Benguet or uh, Cordillera as a whole. Uh, but there are new branding that is coming out like the Sayut uh, Benguet Ara Arabica coffee. Uh, it is a way to emphasize the source of the coffee. So the kanya kanya ng kwan branding ngayon. Although they are still uh, uh, Arabica. Uh, further, Binget Arabica are still available in many online selling platforms like uh, Lazada.
So, pwede kayong mag-order doon. Maraming nagbibenta ng kwan. Uh, Benget uh, Arabica or Arabica. So, to wrap up my Benget Arabica Sayut uh, experience, doing a road bike for uh, physical well-being and consuming Sayut Benget Arabica coffee on the roadside during this uh, pandemic is a way for me to help the a small businesses strike during this pandemic it is also the safest way to chat with new friends since uh, it is an open space yeah, so that's my content for this week safety bodies i hope uh, i can produce another episode uh, next week again and i'd like to thank my sponsor serve enterprises for making this vlog uh, possible. See you, uh, Sergio Baris. Thank you very much.